The DORA key metrics, developed by DevOps Research and Assessment, are performance metrics that measure the effectiveness of an organization's development and delivery practices. These are deployment frequency, lead time for changes, time to restore service, and change failure rate. This is a project for the public-facing about.gitlab.com website. Deployment frequency measures how often an organization deploys code to production or releases it to end users. In this graph, for which you can select the date range, you can see that for this GitLab project, hundreds of deployments have been taking place on a daily basis during the last week. This puts this project into the high category, meaning multiple deploys per day for this DORA metric. Faster delivery of features can translate into higher levels of user satisfaction and retention, higher quality of code, and an increase in adoption of your solution by new users. It can also help identify and address bottlenecks in your development and delivery practices to speed up your time to market and allow your developers to spend more time innovating. Let's move on to lead time for changes, which measures how long it takes to go from code committed to code successfully running in production. In this chart, you can see that the median time between a merge request being merged and deployed to a production environment for last week is 1.8 minutes putting this project into the high category, meaning a lead time for changes between one day and one week for this DORA metric. Shorter lead time for changes can help identify and address bottlenecks in your development and delivery practices, allowing developers to spend more time innovating and delivering value to the business. In addition, getting fixes to end users faster can translate into higher levels of user satisfaction and retention and increased adoption. This is a Ruby on Rails sample application. Let's check its DORA metrics, time to restore service, and change failure rate. Time to restore service measures the time needed to restore services to the level they were previously, in case of an incident. In this graph, you can see that the time to restore service is zero days, specifically 33.6 minutes, putting this project into the high category, meaning a time to restore service of less than one day for this DORA metric. Faster recovery from a service outage and fast turnaround on bug fixes can help deliver higher quality of code. Let's move on to change failure rate, which is the percentage of changes to production or release to users that result in a degraded service and subsequently require remediation. In this chart, you can see that the change failure rate is 10%, putting this project into the high category meaning a change failure rate between 0% and 15%. Lowering change failure rates can help preempt production problems and outages. These can lead to a lower risk of violating service level agreements with end customers. Since GitLab is a tool for the entire DevOps lifecycle, information from different workflows is integrated and can be used to measure the success of your software development teams. The DORA metrics dashboards streamline the evaluation of the effectiveness of your development and delivery practices. They can provide insight and help you better measure and improve what matters in relation to your software delivery and performance. As teams evolve from a DORA low level to the high level, organizations can experience these benefits, such as increased adoption and user retention, lower risk, faster time to value and market, and they can keep or improve their competitive edge.